Well, it's the 1st of February and it's been noticeable that winter has arrived. <laughs> I've seen a lot of the match venues over the last uh, last few days really drop off. Um, both naturals and commercials are fishing hard now and I've already been asked twice this week about the kind of mixes that I use in the under these certain conditions. The vast majority of my feeder fishing now revolves around skimmer and, and bream fishing and I'm a big believer in keeping things as simple as you possibly can. It, you know, for, for me personally, overcomplicating things has never worked. I like to concentrate on the basics, get them right, and once they're right, it just frees your mind up to concentrate on feeding and casting and, and, and just reading, reading your match as you go along. Um, I'm a big believer again in keeping things simple when it comes to mixers as well. This winter I've only really used a couple of mixers and obviously I've had good results but it's it, I've had mixers that I've been confident in and sometimes in order to get confident in mixers you've simply got to get out there and use them, you've got to mix them, you've got to mess around with them, over wet them, try them dry, try them in a cage, try them in a plastic feeder, all that kind of stuff can only be done on the bank and literally it can almost take an hour just to go through a couple of mixers and if that's all it needs to get confidence in, in your ground bait then I strongly suggest go out and do it. Uh, the two mixers I've been using are at the back end uh, of autumn coming into winter I was using Omen, bait tech Omen, it's, it's a great mix, it's quite a spicy mix, it's got quite, and when it's mixed it's got quite a strong smell of, of, uh, of garlic, um, so if you're, you know, you like strong smelling mixes, this is a great one, and I know a, top, a lot of the top lads use this through the summer as well when you're introducing quite a bit of feed, on commercials and natural venues, so that's a good mix that I've been using, I've been using it on its own, um, you probably just see the colour of it there, it's not a really dark mix, but it's a nice fine mix, which is what I like. Um, because I don't like to introduce too much feed within the mix itself um, because I like to regulate what I'm giving the fish i.e. You know, the pinkies, the, the, the chopworm, castor, whatever you're feeding you can regulate it better in my view um, just by using this kind of mix and just giving them exactly in the feeder what you want them to have so that's been a great mix I've been using on its own but my number one mix this winter and I can see it continuing through the year is, is the F1 mix, the Baitex F1 mix. Um, it's, it's, it's mixed with crushed expanders, so it's a pellet, you know, it's a lot of pellet in there, but there's not a great deal of feed, it's a fine mix, but it's quite a strong fish meal smell to it. It's not the strongest sm fish meal smelling mix that you're going to get, but, um, it, it, you know, there's enough in there on its own to use exactly how it is. Um, you could probably see, if you could just see the colour there, it's quite a dark mix anyway, obviously it goes darker than that when you mix it. And I've been using it on its own on a lot of venues, natural venues, Southfield Reservoir, I've used it at Larford, quite a few venues where you know I've been targeting skimmers and bream. Um, and I'm happy using that how it is. The one thing I can tell you about this mix is don't don't um, don't rush the mix. Mix it slowly. I mean you've got to put it through a sieve and a riddle anyway, but we do that with all the mixes, especially in winter, to get every little every little bit of lumps, any lumps in there or coarse bits out of there. Um, so that on its own, it's been my number one mix this winter and I'm sure it will be going through all the way through spring and possibly into summer. If you do want a slightly stronger mix, what I can say is, what I tend to use, I just had a bit of Special G Green. You can add, that's a really mix, um, a, a really strong fish meal flavoured mix which you can just add to that in whatever quantity you want. You can just tailor make it um, in whatever percentage you want, just to give that a little bit of a boost. And that's something that I've done on certain occasions. Sometimes a really strong uh, fish fish meal smelling mix, especially over wetted, can suddenly trigger just a couple of bites, and that can literally win you a match. Um, and you can do that on the bank while you're fishing. Um, so yeah, I mean they're the mixes that I've, I've really stuck to this winter, and obviously, you know, really pleased with my results. And um, I, all I can say is when it comes to ground mates, just get a couple that you're happy with, get out there on the bank, and start mixing them. Just play around with them, and once you understand them. A, if you assume you catch fish with them, it's going to give you confidence in mixes like that. And then that, once you understand how they're made and how they mix, that you can then go away and start looking at other mixes in the range. And you, you'll you be amazed how it helps you decide on which mixes to use on, on which occasions. So they're definitely mixes I strongly suggest. Just get out there, just grab a bag and just, just try them. Um, like I say, if anybody sees me on the bank, you'll see me using those sort of mixes. So um, just, you know, um, just get out there and use them basically that's the best way of getting confidence with ground baits and by mixing them you'll be amazed how you begin to understand how you can uh, tailor make them to to the needs of any given situation